finally, we have an animal that came down to drink other than the birds. This is a yellow mongoose. The yellow mongoose. Super, super, super cool little animals. You often find them actually in very close associations of burrow systems with meerkats. And look at the way he's standing up. That is very, very reminiscent of the way a meerkat stands. I'm so chuffed that we got him coming down. I was just saying, we've sat here for so long with very little going on. And apart from some really good birdie, and then this little guy rocks up. But you see the way he holds his, his paws, exactly like a meerkat, bracing himself on his tail. He's going to have a good drink there. And he would put his head straight behind that pile of mud. Yeah, we're talking about you. But the, no, we're talking about predation on these lapwings to link that bird that's standing right in front of him with that mongoose. A mongoose like that will actually predate um, the lapwing chicks, the tiny chicks, if it gets half a chance. But as you can see itself from the size that it is, it's also very, very prone to predation. That's why he keeps stopping and looking and stopping and looking and standing up. Oh, there's a beautiful sighting now. Wow. Wow, look at those colors and almost orangey legs. That gray torso or the gray neck and shoulders and that yellow body. In fact, looking at the gray neck with the yellow body, it's, we've got a, a, an animal in South Africa called a reedbuck. We get them on soil, a mountain reedbuck. Their colors are not dissimilar to that. It looks like a two-tone color. But wow, it's in beautiful condition, eh? Look at that, doesn't waste any time going across the open area, wants to get straight back into cover. Yeah, and looking again, just like a mong like a meerkat, huh? That's that's when you can see those similarities, eh? And gone.